the objective is to convert numerical expressions into unit form as a mental strategy for multi-digit multiplication. What does this expression mean when I designate 31 as the unit? Right, it could mean 7 times as much as 31. Or you might have said an addition problem where it is that you're adding 31 together 7 times. What does it mean if I designate 7 as a unit? Then you would be adding 7 together 31 times. Does the answer change? Nope. The commutative property allows for us to make it so that the order of the factors doesn't matter. The product will be the same. Which is easier to work with? 4920s or 2049s? It's easier to designate 20 as the unit. It's going to be helpful to think of 50 20s. and then take away one. To be able to get 49 20s. So we have 50 20s. and we're taking away 120. So 1,000 minus 20, so that we get 49 20s, equals 980. Here we're solving 101 times 12. It would be helpful to know 100 times 12. 100 times 12 is 1,200. 101 times 12, then, is 1 more 12, or 1,212. Read the whole sentence with me. 101 times 12 equals 1,212. We can draw a bar model to represent this problem. There's 98 times 12, and there's 98 times 100. So 98 times 100 is two more 12s than 98 times 12. So we take 98 times 100 which is 9,800, and then we subtract two twelves. Two twelves is 24. That's 9,776. So knowing what 98 times 100 is helps us figure out 98 times 12. Okay, your turn to try. Use our strategies to be able to figure out 8 times 29. Drawing a tape diagram, 
We have eight. And we have 29 eighths. And mentally, you should have used 30 eighths to help solve this problem. 8 times 30 is 240. And we would subtract 8 from that because we're looking at 29 eighths, not 30 eighths. 240 minus 8 is 232. Compare your work with the screen. Let's work through another problem. 21 times 75 equals blank 75s equals 21 75s. Should be thinking how we can break this apart using easier numbers to work with. That would be 20 75s plus one more 75. If that's the case then, then in working that out, we'd write 20 times 75 plus 75. Hmm. <clears throat> 2 times 75 is 150, so 2 tenths times that is 1,500, plus 75 equals 1,575. So knowing what 20 75s was worth help us, helps us to solve this problem. Okay, let's work through another problem. Here's 18 times 16. Let's think about 20 times 16 and take away 2 times 16. So we'll look at 16s as our unit. 20 times 16 is 320. 2 times 16 is 32. And we can write that out to subtract it. Two hundred eighty-eight. So that eighteen times sixteen is two hundred eighty-eight. Okay, it's your turn to try. Seventeen times twenty-one. To work it out as seventeen times twenty plus seventeen times one. Check your work. Should have gotten 357 as your answer.